fight is a new fight. Um, I don't say that I had to mentally do anything to get past it. Um, you win some, you lose some. I think I've just been in the sport for so long that I, I know what it entails by now. It sucks to lose, you don't like to lose, but again, I'm not I'm not going to look at the past at my last fight and not focus on my, on my upcoming fight because this fight is a completely different fight than my last fight. So, um, I'm always trying to get better. Um, you know, that that's my thing is every every fight camp, every training camp, every day in the gym, um, every fight, I'm, I'm always working to get better. And I and I feel like I do keep getting better. You know, you can't not get better when you're you're so dedicated and so disciplined like I am. And Michelle obviously has some history with you. Fight Girls was like a reality show way back um, in early 2007 on the Oxygen Channel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. You some history there with her. Long time ago. Um, um, with, with Master Tati. I don't even know if people know Master Tati anymore. But yeah, it was the very first all-female reality show, which is actually how I got started in MMA. I think a lot of people don't know that because um, I, uh, Gina Carano, who now not as many people in the MMA world really know who Gina is, but she was like the pioneer, like the one, like before there was Ronda Rousey, there was Gina Carano. And um, we, we were still friends after the show. She was my coach and I went and I trained with her at Extreme Control. She was with, you know, she was with Brandy, and she was on Strike Force, and um, then Brandon Vera was on the show. Well, his wife Carrie was on the show, and so I was just around the MMA scene, and I realized that oh, there's a lot bigger things you can do in this sport if you get into MMA. And so shortly after Fight Girls, which was in 2007, uh, I began my MMA journey. Like there and Victor, the two of you were different weight classes. She was in uh, Adam Wade, you were a one more weight class. So now that you're in the same weight class and you're approaching Michelle, what's it like to kind of see someone that you can parallel with uh, Um, I just think that it's cool to see um, that Michelle and I have been in the sport for so long and we were on the show together and now we're still here. You know, you fight parallel to somebody for so long but then a lot of people fizzle out in the sport. It's a rough sport, especially it's hard to stay in a sport that in its infancy there wasn't really any big opportunities. Like a lot of a lot of organizations didn't give women a chance, didn't have them or didn't have their weight class. There was no opportunity to be in the UFC even until Invicta and when Invicta came along that was like the biggest opportunity that that women were really getting. So um, it's cool. I think the thing that I take away the most is I think it's very cool that Michelle and I go so far back yet we're still in the sport. So I feel it. It's kind of it's more of a respect thing for me. I respect. I think it's. I think it's awesome that hey, we're both still here. We're both still doing it. Let's you know hold down the down the fort for all the OGs and let's go out there and put on a good show. And um, you know, some people think you have to have beef and animosity with your opponent. Like maybe she doesn't like me. I don't know. I don't dislike Michelle. But do you actually prefer that though? Sometimes when there is a bit of needle between you and your opponent, because obviously this fight you got a lot of respect for Michelle. Last fight was Carolina. Doesn't speak much English. And like she's yeah. a nice person, but I mean, you tell me, like, do you prefer having that bit of beef with people? I actually, um, I perform very well when there's beef, but it gives me a lot of anxiety. The only reason why I've ever really had um, beef with people, with opponents is, was because in the past a lot of girls had, you know, talked really poorly about me and disrespected me, and it, it gave me like all this anxiety, like, oh my gosh, I have to win, I have to win, otherwise I'm gonna look like an idiot. Um, but now I just I feel like you know you you were in a sport where it's like oh if you get all this attention you have to talk all this shit and you know it'll sell the fight but I don't care about that I'm just always stay true to myself um, I'm just in it for the sport I just love the sport I just want to fight um, if there's animosity that's fine I don't prefer that though I prefer to just like kind of like go back to old school martial arts just be very respectful and do your do all your talking in the cage. As someone who, uh, you just mentioned about the few opportunities that women had in the past. So now, what do you think was quite so? Mm -hmm. When you see someone like Rosalind and Eubanks headlining Madison Square Garden, does that make you feel like, wow, I've been on this journey and you get to see the opportunities? How does that feel like to see other women in those parts? Um, I'm sorry, I, like, I didn't hear the whole question. There's all this background. 
background noise. Okay, so I said that you've, you've come from a time in sport where there weren't many opportunities for women. So to see Shevchenko and Eubanks headlining Madison Square Garden, it must be quite cool to see the journey of women in mixed martial arts. Oh yeah, it's great to see how much respect women get in mixed martial arts now, especially because before women in mixed martial arts, it was kind of looked at as like a side, like sideshow, like all oh, these freaks, oh women thinking they can fight, oh chick fight, ah. like let's get naked, roll around in the mud, like and that's how people looked at it, and a lot of people would say that girls can't fight, and it was only a small niche of people who even wanted to watch girls fight because it was more fetishy for them, you know. But now it's cool to see that the sport has evolved, it has grown, and women as a whole have proved that hey, we can fight and we can put on, put on great fights and make the fights exciting for fans to watch, to want to watch. Um, I think it's it's just cool to see how the sport's grown, especially because women, I think, in, in MMA, there's no other sport that women and men really get the same amount of respect. You know, you see like NBA versus WNBA. There's, you know, you see football. It's like the only kinds of uh, football they have for women is with the the lingerie football so there's there's not really the sport any other sport where men and women are kind of on the on the same platform a sort of follow-up to that you mentioned Gina earlier and she obviously never fought in the UFC but do you feel like she's gotten the short end of the stick a little bit as, as far as getting credit for being you know really the initial women's pioneer um you know I think that over time people forget about you know the original everything is about what's happening now and I don't necessarily I think that people who have been in the sport for long enough know. And Gina's done her own thing. She went off to do movies, and she's such a respectful, you know, person. And she's not out there like saying, "Hey, look at me, still. I used to do this in MMA." You know, Gina's like a very cool girl. And um, again, I think that that the people who really have followed the sport for that long know. But there's always going to be somebody new. You know, there's what's that song? I want to be a rock superstar and live large, buy cars, and then it's like. They'll forget, you know, they forget about the people that were in the beginning because there's always a new cat in town, like, running the show. And people, you know, we live in a social media area where it's like you see something and then something in the past is forgotten. But it doesn't change. Like, it doesn't ever change. Like, pioneers are the pioneers. The OGs are the OGs. Like, people and you guys are, know. Yeah, we all know. <laughs> Perfect. Felice, you have a key around your neck. Is that anything special? This actually is a very special key. Well, this is a... Uh, Tiffany and Company key. It's uh, it's gold, but I got this um, for my 50th fight, uh, which was against Courtney Casey. Uh, gold um, in the anniversary world. Gold is the 50th, and um, I actually really wanted this key and just wanted an excuse to get it. But for my 50th fight, I treated myself to it, and so now it's it's just kind of significant. It's like uh, I mean, it's kind of a like a milestone, it shows like how far I've come. I'm like, wow, I have 50 fights now, more than 50 fights. Um, so yeah, it is, it's kind of good luck now. Good luck, good luck to your partners. Thank you.